fuck? I love this song. <laughs> Why, hello there. My name is Frackress, and welcome to Let's Play Dream Daddy. I, <laughs> I've been wanting to play this since they announced it a month ago. It's from Game Grumps, and, you know, Vernon Shaw, I think, was the head of all this, and it's just, just a hilarious concept, and I'm ready for it. I'm so ready to check this shit out, and I hope you are, too. Like, it's all a buzz on the internet, and I'm just so excited. So I'm just gonna get right into it. New game. I'm probably gonna have to do my dad sewn at first. Always carry a pocket knife. My dad gave me a pocket knife, and I tend to always carry that, so... Good tip, Dad. <laughs> z z z z z Schnorr, schnorr. Big schnorr. <laughs> dad! Schnorr. Dad, wake up! Wake up. Pretend to be dead. That was that is exactly what I would do. I let my tongue roll out of my mouth and stop breathing. Ugh. <laughs> Amanda shakes me. Come on, Dad. This hasn't worked since I was six. I'm sorry, Amanda. This is the end for me. Everything's going dark. <laughs> Dad, I swear to God. Amanda, I bequeath you all my earthly possessions. Spread my ashes over my recliner. My beloved, comfy recliner. <laughs> Okay, well, your corpse better get into the moving van, because it's leaving soon. <sighs> I finally open my eyes and sit up. I'm lying in the middle of the living room, spooning a moving box. <laughs> I yawn and stretch. <laughs> Morning, Manda Panda. Dad. Yikes, dad breath. Go brush your teeth. S stand up for yourself. Don't let anyone disrespect you. Ever. Just fucking stand up for yourself. Build that dad. <laughs> build that dad. So now I gotta, I gotta build who I am. Let's. I guess we'll just start. I'm probably gonna skip ahead because usually it takes me forever to build it. But if I have any funny comments as I go, I'll share them with you. So hold on a sec. What? There's no. There's like too skinny. There's super buff. And then there's there's fit. There's dead bud. Hashtag dead bud. I guess I'll be- I'll be ripped! <laughs> sure. Shadow? Oh, five o'clock shadow, got it. <laughs> Let's see, do we have hair that I would wear? Oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> the pompadour. <laughs> Heart eyes, motherfucker. <laughs> Dare me. Actually. <laughs> Regular. I have the lot the biggest brows. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, if I were able to grow facial hair, I probably would. <laughs> There's my color. I'm looking for it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, damn. I love that. <laughs> I like that one too. <laughs> Something I would absolutely wear. <laughs> Eggs. <laughs> Eggs on my titties. <laughs> uh, let's just be Dan. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Bergy shirt. Oh man. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with these cats. I fucking love them. Okay, so I don't know, should I s there's nothing else like I can't hold on. There's no freckles, guys! Guys, I am highly disappointed, as there are no freckles at all. Oh no! That's kind of sad. Cause, come on, dads can have freckles too. <laughs> Alright, we're looking good, daddy. <laughs> it me! <laughs> Freckress, um, dudester. <laughs> Be that dad. <laughs> Only acceptable time and place for- oh no. <laughs> you fall asleep packing? I got most of it done, I think. 
Searching around the room, it looks like I did a pretty good job. Every box is sealed except for one. Wait, straggler. Huh? <laughs> What's in it? Looking into the box, I see a bunch of old photos and little albums. Whoa, I haven't seen these in years! I pull out one of the dusty albums from the top of the pile and we begin looking through it. Aw, oh, she's cute! <laughs> that is the coolest baby I've ever seen. The only way your father and I... The only way your mother and I... Well, I don't know! I mean, if I'm gonna go romance other dads, I would assume that I had a husband. The only way your father and I could get you to stop crying was to put the sunglasses on you. <laughs> but whenever we tried to take them off, you'd start crying again. You spent the first two years of your life with sunglasses on. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Halloween, when you were maybe four? Oh, look at the little dragon ninja turtle princess! <laughs> oh my god, that dragon costume! You couldn't decide between being a princess or a dragon, so you went with both. Princess dragon. Hmm. Hell yeah, that's exactly the stuff that I would have come up with as a kid. Why do I remember crying in that dragon costume? You saw yourself in the mirror and realized you were afraid of dragons? Seeing yourself inside the dragon's mouth was a realization of your greatest fear, I think. <laughs> right, yep, definitely repress that memory. And this was you on your horse phase. HORSE PHASE! E most little girls have a horse phase, a cat phase, or a dragon phase. I had all three! <laughs> oh no. Dad. I believe you named that plush horse Sir Plush Horse Sir Horsington the Brave. Uh. I don't think that was his Manda lunges for the photo, but I quickly snatch it away and hold it above her head with my superior dead arms. <laughs> nice try, but this is important blackmail for later down the road. Mm. Go ahead and try me. I've seen pictures of you and your ska band. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I'm a ska band. <laughs> I am a ska band. Yes. Ouch, kid. The Scommunist Manifesto had a chance back in the day. I look off into the distance and reminisce about that rad horde section. Super rad. <laughs> hey, it's Emma P. Dad. No, Dad, that's Emma R. I didn't meet Emma P until high school. Honey, I promise you wholeheartedly that I will never stop mixing those two up. <laughs> Dad, Emma R has been my best friend since I was seven. Give it, like, a little bit of effort. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, Emma P was the one who tried to steal people's pets, <laughs> fired a flaming tennis ball at the police station, pooped her pants during a sleepover. Dang, those are all, like, he heavy, man. Tried to steal Aww. people's pets, sure. No, Dad, that was Emma S. How many Emmas do you know? I don't even know one Emma. I know, I know an, I know an M.E. <laughs> <sighs> she moved to Kentucky three years ago. I miss her. <sighs> I also miss my hamster. <laughs> Sir Hemmington the Brave. <laughs> anyway, I gotta show this to Emma R later. She'll get a kick out of it. The first photography award you've ever won. Oh, it's good. It's a good ladybug. You got it's a ma macro on it and a little bit of little bit of distance blur. It's good. It's good composition. <laughs> yeah, it got us a twenty dollar gift card to Mick Fridays. And then you got food poisoning from the cheesy tostada blasts. <laughs> I think you mean food poisoning. You know, with a Z. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> Still, I can't drive past Mick Fridays without gagging. <laughs> Still proud of you, though. <laughs> Manda reaches deep down into the box and pulls out one last photo. Neither of us would say a word. We stare at the photo for a long moment. Love you, Amanda. Uh. I finally decide to break the silence. This was the day you were born. This is the day we adopted you. It's kind of a funny story. It's the day we brought you home, we got into a car accident. It wasn't anything big, just a little fender bender in the parking lot. But of course I was freaking out, and the little old lady who cr crashed into us was freaking out, and I didn't know what to do. But your father, oh man. He holds my hand and looks me directly in the eyes, the calmest I've ever seen him. He says, it's okay. It's all gonna be okay. Uh. He was right, you know. Stare at the picture for longer. Maybe too long. I miss him. Can't even imagine what it must be like for Amanda. Uh. She pats me on the back. Uh. Come on, pups. We gotta finish packing. The moving van won't wait forever. You're right. Uh. 
<laughs> Man and I pile into the car and take one last look at the old house. I love that I've got a lay, but it just it just goes it goes with the cats. <laughs> so many memories here. Hard to believe your father and I brought bought this place almost 20 years ago. Hmm. Hey, remember when I shattered the front window playing catch? You always had very strong arms. Hey, you remember when I shadowed the other w front window pretending to be a robot who breaks windows? <laughs> Kid, you you need to you need to chill. <laughs> Just a little. You were a very imaginative child. Hey, you remember when I broke the back window pl We get it, Amanda, you break stuff. <laughs> and there'll be plenty more stuff for me to break in the new place. Memories to make and stuff to break. You ready? We sit in silence for a moment. I watch my daughter grow up in this house. I'll forever hold it will forever hold a place in my heart, but it stings a little to leave it behind. I'm ready. The moving van begins to pull away and I get in the car into position to follow it. I watch our house, our old house, disappear in the rearview mirror. So, so what? So, sell me on our cool new pad. I clear my throat and do my best cheesy announcer voice. Nestled in beautiful scenic downtown Maple Bay, our new house features washer and dryer hookups, <laughs> a two-car garage, multiple places to sleep. <laughs> Not only are there bedrooms for your sleeping pleasure, but couches and floor space where you can, yes, catch a wink. <laughs> what a deal. I mean, if sleep weren't for the week, you sleep more than anyone I know. Hmm? I admit my faults, Pops. I keep it real. <laughs> anyway, it's also smaller than our last house. Cozier, one might argue. Good spin. <laughs> I think it's great. Won't be... Won't we be close to a lot of cool stuff we can walk to so I don't have to waste gas? And I mean, trying to park downtown is, you know... Amanda, you know you're gonna have to learn how to parallel park at some point, right? Huh? Not gonna happen, Pops. I think someone needs to do a three-point turn on their attitude. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I don't know how to do that either. <laughs> Have you met the neighbors yet? Not yet, but the neighborhood seems pretty quiet. Mm. So you won't have to chase any rowdy teens off your lawn? Oh, there'll be plenty of teens for me to chase off my lawn. Shaking, shaking my walking stick as I rock so rockily on the porch. <laughs> you are the very teen you mock when you say that, honey. Ah. I'm in my last year of high school. I'm practically dust. <laughs> yeah, you're a real... <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> Senior. <laughs> Dad, I knew where this was going. Citizen. <laughs> I'm just gonna ignore that. But I won't forget it. Amanda will remember this. <laughs> so what's item number one on the new house agenda? Well, first we need to forge a path through the solid wall of boxes that's blocking the living room. I still have to install the washer and dryer. We need to go grocery shopping. Mm. Pops, cool your jets. You have to promise me that we're gonna take a break and explore the neighborhood. Okay, okay, you're right. We'll get some work done and then check the area out. <laughs> We pull up to our new house and step outside. The lawn is freshly mown, and the for sale sign is still in the yard. Hmm. Yeah! Did you just kick the sign down? <laughs> With a swift kick from Amanda, the for sale sign is no more. <laughs> nice form, Sweet Pea. I got a problem with authority! I'm so proud. <laughs> Man, all the karate chopping tuckered me out. I could really go for a sandwich. Uh. An ice cream sandwich. <laughs> Sweetie, it's 10 a.m. We need to unpack first. I need some coffee. Do you even see all the dogs? Did you even see all the dogs in the park nearby? Heck yeah, let's go check out some dogs. <laughs> you know it. Thank you for moving us to an area where the dog to person ratio is very high. I only want what is best for you. Yeah. I hope you're prepared for the frequency at which I interrupt conversations to yell DOG to rock it way up. <laughs> I mean, you do that a lot already. Hey, it's a dog! Hmm. Wait, false alarm. It was just a funny shaped rock. <laughs> is that, is that Sans? <laughs> is that, is that a human? <laughs> if you want to see a real dog so bad, let's go to that park around the corner. Gas is cheaper in the spurbs. 
not really. I went to Orlando and it was 20 cents cheaper than where I'm at. Manda and I begin to stroll through the neighborhood. I can't believe how beautiful it is outside. Kids are playing in the street, the flowers are in bloom, and the faint smell of a nearby barbecue drifts through the air. This place is nice. Hmm. Too nice. I don't trust it. Good eye, honey. You can never be too careful. See that baby in the stroller over there? Government operative. Hmm. <laughs> We're on to you, baby! <laughs> Walk for a while and eventually end up at a small park. Toddlers chase each other through the playground, and dogs of all shapes and sizes romp through the gra grass. It's pretty crowded, but Amanda spots a nice empty bench. We start to make our way over to it when... Heads up! <gasps> oh, fuck! <laughs> First Billy suddenly hits me in the face. <laughs> Smack! <laughs> Woof! Ah. Corgi, with a neat plaid handkerchief tied around its neck, bounds up to me, wagging its tail. That is a ginormous corgi! That should be a collie. <laughs> but not quite. It's huge! Look how big that corgi is! He has a tail? Yeah, I guess he does have a tail. Hello, did you throw this thing at my head? I like your necktie. <laughs> Mostly it's just, HI PUPPY! <laughs> Hello! Arf, arf! <laughs> he runs around in a circle and nudges my leg with his nose. Oh god, this is the cutest dog. Can I help you? In part on me, your wisdom tiny dog. I want pet the doggo. But where do I pet the dog? Give him those head rubs. We need some chin scritches in here. Dare we try the butt pats? You gotta do the head rubs, bruh. He seems to love a good head rub. All smiles here. Definitely could have caught that. Guy in a Hawaiian shirt jogs over to us and takes the frisbee from me. He just takes it, just snatches it from my hands. How dare! <laughs> You're very tall. <laughs> you know, frisbees are traditionally caught with your hands, not your face. Well, you're traditionally not supposed to aim for people's heads. It's a new technique. <laughs> Catch it with my teeth next time. It's a new technique. I'm just trying it out. I gotta practice. <laughs> it's like disc golf, but the goal is my face. Looks like you're winning. <laughs> I've got something else like a shooter your face. Anyway, um, <laughs> hey, just messing with you. I'm Brian, by the way. I'm Freckris, and this is my daughter, Amanda. Look over at Amanda, only to find her sitting on the ground, rubbing the dog's tummy. Hi! <laughs> Your dog's cool. <laughs> uh, old Maxwell sure loves the attention. It's great to see another father and daughter out here on such a sunny day. Where's yours? Brian gestures over to a grassy knoll where someone is shooting and killing the president. <laughs> when a young girl sits, down, sits on a checkered blanket, she's reading a book bigger than her head. She puts it down and heads over to us. Uh. This is Daisy. She's reading the brothers Karamazov. <laughs> Her teacher tells me that she has the reading comprehension skills of a high schooler. She's not a high schooler? How old is she? Uh. Ten. She's a precocious little youngster. Hey. Whoa. <laughs> my natural dad instinct kicks in. I must brag about my child's accomplishments. <laughs> 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 this, oh no, it's happening. <laughs> Go on, Daisy, tell him about yourself. Um, I... That's my girl! <laughs> Amanda, get in there! I choose you! <laughs> okay, okay! Freckress is HP 80, Brian's HP 80. Uh, what is... What is DHTR? Daughter. <laughs> Do I, I switch daughters? <laughs> just send out the next daughter. <laughs> Brag, I guess. Meta here just recently won a local photography award. Wow, congratulations. Brian loses 10 HP. Daisy actually just won a statewide poetry contest. You lose 15 HP. <laughs> I have items? Grade card, child art, <laughs> spelling bee photo, band-aid, <laughs> band-aid? I guess that'll heal. Let's go with her grades. You pull a wrinkled copy of Amanda's last grade card out of your back pocket. Dad! Awesome grades, Brian loses 25 HP. <laughs> you really carry that around everywhere? Ouch, maybe it is kind of weird. You lose 5 HP. <laughs> Daisy just started a weekly chess club at her elementary school computer lab. She's the president, too, of course. Dang, my high school doesn't have a chess club or a computer lab. You lose 10 HP. 
50, 45. I'm still doing good. I'm, I'm okay. It's fine. It's going good, sweetie. <laughs> Let's brag again. Last week, unprompted, Amanda helped an old woman with her grocery bags. It's extra powerful. Brian loses 20 HP. Daisy sold enough candy bars this year to get to the top prize. A canoe! Wow. <laughs> We're taking it out next weekend. How is that even possible? Amanda could barely get one of those sticky hand things. <laughs> it's extra powerful. You lose 20 HP. 30, 25. I'm still winning. I'm still I still got the good dad card. <laughs> uh Amanda's in all honors classes this semester. Brian loses 10 HP. Oh, really? I'm actually talking to Daisy's teacher about having her skip a grade. Even Amanda kind of bristles at that one. You lose 20 HP. Oh no, I'm not gonna make it. Uh, child art. You unfurl your wallet to reveal a tiny copy of a drawing of a cornucopia Amanda did in the first grade. <laughs> oh, <laughs> cute! It isn't very impressive, but Amanda genuinely appreciates you holding on to it. Brian loses 10 HP. You regain 20 HP! Ta -da -da. <laughs> did I mention Daisy said her first word at 10 months? Daddy! Aww. Amanda's was potty. Still cute, but maybe this isn't the time to bring it up. <laughs> you lose 10 HP. Fricris is HP 20. Brian's 5. And one more brag should do him in. A few months back, Amanda started volunteering at the homeless shelter in our old neighborhood. Brian loses 10 HP. I've got him on the ropes. He's on negative 5. You two seem to have such a good relationship. It warms my heart. Arg! Why do you have to be such a good loser? <laughs> That was fantastic! <laughs> Alright, well, I've run out of time for this one, but I'll continue on the next one. So thank you very much for joining me. Check out annotations for other videos that I've done. Share, subscribe, and socialize, and all the other fun stuff in the YouTubes down there. Hopefully I'll see you in my next video, and my prickly face is out of here! Bye!